What's up guys? How's everybody doing? The vegan terrorist here. I'm so excited for this video because I am such a fat person because or at least by heart. I may not be by my outer image, but by heart I am fat. <laughs> I spend a lot of my time overeating, especially when it comes to cooked food and for that reason I decided to go on a three-day fruit fast with nothing but fruit herbs and occasional sea salt and I'm doing this because I want to speed up speed up the process of improving my eyesight with a lot of the herbs that I'm taking and I do sell a lot of herbal compounds depending on your personal health condition so you can just email me I'm gonna leave my email down below and they're about $15 a bottle and it was it's enough for a month's worth of herbs for you to intake and I believe my reason for overeating a lot is because I have spent so many times trying to hide my insecurities my thoughts and my weaknesses such as being psychologically addicted to smoking weed um i'm not uh, i'm not so physically addicted to the point where if i leave it i will be having withdrawal problems but i am psychologically addicted to the point where I love the feeling of getting high because it hides my emotions and my <laughs> certain thoughts from people whenever I smoke. One of these certain insecurities that I always tend to hide is procrastination. I'm always not working towards my, my current goals, my long-term goals and my short-term goals and to hide from them I always like to either overeat or I like to smoke some weed and for this reason I also decided to not no longer smoke any weed because as far as my light is concerned I have done research on the matter of marijuana and a lot of the marijuana genetics nowadays have been so hybridized to the point where the THC levels are so high and the CBD levels are very low and the THC is what gets you you know high and the CBD is the one that actually heals you and from internal organs and any type of illness and for that reason I am no longer going to be smoking weed at least anything that is purchased in the streets anything that is probably non-organic meaning conventionally grown so I am gonna wait I am gonna wait until there's an opportunity where I can enjoy some organically grown or wildcrafted land races which are the original marijuana plants that also have seeds yes real marijuana has seeds just like any given fruit and plant the real the real natural marijuana comes with seeds and this doesn't necessarily mean that it is a mid-grade plant it just means that it has seeds it is able to reproduce and therefore when you buy seedless plants fruit weed any other herbs it has fertility problems and it cannot reproduce and so based on the research I have done I have found that THC will raise estrogen levels in men causing them to act more effeminate and also it will rise testosterone levels in women causing them to act to act more masculine and you know, I have I am thankful for all the weed I smoked so far because without it I wouldn't be here where I am. But I also feel as if smoking weed has also contributed to my horrible eyesight 
along with vinegar, yeast, and fermented foods. Those are the main causes that I have seen personally from fasting and then reintroducing foods that these certain things, smoking, hybridized weed, um, intaking any forms of fermented foods, vinegar, yeast, nutritional yeast, brewer's yeast, and if I am missing another one, I probably am, <laughs> but fermented foods is a no-go for eyesight. Y'all should really lay off Lay off fermented foods and take herbal compounds such as seaweeds like nori, uh, I believe the one is called dulce, arami, wakami, Irish sea moss, fucose, which is also called bladderwrack. And when taking these herbs, they have a strong mineral contact because they are grown in the sea and they are full of minerals from the sea that they will improve your eyesight. So I'm really uncertain to title this video as, you know, why I'm no longer going to smoke weed or why I overeat. <laughs> I hope y'all can like this video if y'all found it informational. I hope y'all can comment down below if y'all have noticed any of these certain symptoms from intaking fermented foods or smoking hybridized marijuana. I only really promote the use of seeded original marijuana, the land, original land strains. And these are strains such as Afghan Kush, Hindu Kush, Lamb's Bread from Jamaica, Swaziland Gold from Africa, Panama Red from Panama, Acapulco Gold from Mexico. And there are so many hybridized weeds. Uh, there's so many hybridized marijuana such and and also hybridized foods like starches that you can search up and it'll tell you clearly that they was made in Europe such as the white widow so I'm gonna leave y'all guys with that hope y'all can like the video share it with your friends share this information with everybody comment down below if y'all have ever experienced if <laughs> if y'all have ever experienced certain things like like I have with the fermented foods, the hybridized marijuana, especially the anxiety issues. I don't, I'm not really wanting any more of those negative thoughts in my head whenever I smoke hybridized weed. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. Y'all are truly amazing if y'all watch to the end of the videos. Because I might not even be that awesome <laughs> to begin with, but... I love you. Mwah. Good night. Peace out, nuts. <laughs>